and it lists uh, a Tea Party as terrorists and tells the military you can't be part of it or you'll be given a court martial. That's like saying you can't be part of the Baptist church. Oh, and they did that too. They said if you're part of any evangelical church, we'll court martial you. Uh, let's continue. Army strategic shock report says troops may be needed to quell civil unrest. Known unknowns, unconventional strategic shock in defense strategy development. Go read it for yourself. I mean, they think you're stupid and won't go look all this up. Police now armed for war against returning veterans. We have three different videos in these articles of police chiefs and SWAT team commanders saying, we have MRAPs to fight the Tea Party and gun owners. We have it from Illinois to Washington State, from Texas to New York. These people saying, we got this to fight the Patriots. And Homeland Security has defended in the Washington Post, saying their main threat is domestic Patriot groups. And Napolitano, before she left, came out and said, I defend that we say that's the number one enemy. But, but then they say, oh, we're not building all this up for you. We're not, it's not for you. It's not for you. When I was told all this by the police chief of San Antonio in the late 90s and interviewed him for an hour. The interview's online. And emergency managers, they came in and said, if you'll go along with gun confiscation, we'll give you $200,000. Delta Force. Clinton tried this before, and we blew his operation to hell with the info. And I didn't do it. The military did it. So this is not anti-military. This is rallying the patriots to understand what's happening. So you go ahead and demonize me, and government, you want to kill me? Go ahead. I will die a patriot that didn't sell my country out, you pieces of trash. And I don't want to hear the people leaking this info are traitors. You're the traitors that are part of this. Cowards. Arm for war. Pentagon surplus gives local police an edge. Fox. DHS wants equipment for riot situations. Pentagon to detail troops to bolster domestic security. Washington Post. It's for America, and it's not the borders wide open. It's not for security. They'll have a few missions on the news that look reasonable, giving kids food, putting out fires, but the real mission in their own documents, is to take us on. And man, they're gearing up, folks. It's like Manhattan Project squared, how big it is. And it's happening right in plain view. And they think you're too stupid to figure it out. Marine Corps Colonel, Homeland Security Building Domestic Army. We've had that colonel on the show, highly decorated. New Hampshire City wants a tank to use against occupiers and libertarians. Mainstream news. Homeland Security enlists clergy to quell public unrest if martial law ever declared. They tried to recruit my dad and every dentist he basically knows to be tattletales. He said against two, and they said, just against, you know, the libertarians, the right-wingers. We just want to, we just want to, you know, keep, watch your patients for us. And a lot of the dentists were like, what is this, the Soviet Union? Secret FEMA plan to use pastors as pacifiers in preparation for martial law. We broke this, look, we broke this in 2006. A year later, it came out on mainstream news. You see that? You see that? 2007, 2006. We broke it. We broke it. I'm not bragging. I'm just telling you, man. People say, well, I don't see newsmen get, get excited. I'm not a newsman. I am a defender of this republic, a modern Paul Revere, just like you should be. Okay? This is teleprompter free. This is research. This is my heart. This is real. I've had them try to set me up and set fires in Florida when I was covering this, to try to put me in prison. Made a film about it. Police State 2, The Takeover. I've had them put guns, point guns at me. I've dealt with this. I've lived them trying to set me up. I've had MSNBC come out and say I was involved in the Boston bombing with no proof. I know, ladies and gentlemen, at many levels, I'm as good as dead. I've lived it. I know it's real. I don't even need to have their own documents. I've seen it. So here, we'll see if the truth can trump the Pentagon PSYOP. Because this is the truth right here. Because you want to have your cake and eat it, too. You want to roll all this out like it's no big deal in the news. If the troops think it's normal, then we pop up and say, no, it's part of a larger plan. You go, oh, none of this is happening. Sorry. Sorry, we've got all of it right here. From your mouth most of the time. Black ops helicopters buzz Kentucky residents, part of the conditioning program. Yes, those were black helicopters. Black ops helicopters over, I thought they didn't exist. Remember that 15 years ago? They didn't, now, now it does. Black helicopters descend on Dallas. U.S. Army training in St. Louis, city streets. Fox, don't be alarmed. Army trains MPs to drive tanks on U.S. streets. Fully armed U.S. troops patrol Minnesota neighborhood. Local guard personnel to conduct exercises this week. Troops participate storming university. Florida residents report mysterious black military aircraft. 
Military training exercises keep some U.S. Floridians awake. Blah, blah, blah. I remember under Clinton, because it's been going on a long time, Hobbs Middle School, Pensacola. They had the Marines come in, aim guns at them, and say, this is martial law. They did it all over the country. So, in closing, ladies and gentlemen, I need everybody, every info warrior out there watching to get this video from the radio slash TV show that we're going to post on YouTube and other globalist platforms. And I need you to send it out on every platform you've got and to hammer not just the Pentagon, not just the Army, the Marines, the Air Force, the Delta Force, Special Operations, Fort Campbell, Kentucky, but Camp Mabry, Camp Swift, every camp around you, every military base around you, hammer their email, hammer them, hammer them with this because the average person is being compartmentalized, and this is about brainwashing the military and the public to accept this. We're giving you the Death Star plans. You understand? We're giving you every bit of it, all the facts, their own documents, all of it, all of it right here in this damn report. The, the New World Order isn't coming, it's here. The Redcoats ain't coming, they're here. They're here. They know a big frontal assault, you stand up to it like Paul Revere, so they do it incrementally. I'm coming over to that camera to talk to people right now. Folks, you're told you're supposed to get excited about a bunch of garbage. You're told you're supposed to get excited a bunch about, about a bunch of mindless crap. About football games, you're supposed to get excited about freedom and tyranny and stopping it. That's what these genes are about. That's what resistance is about. And it's happening right now. I don't even know what to say at this point anymore. It just makes me sick to see the fall of this country and to see the tyranny and the, and, and the illegal NSA spying and all the rest of it. And I just think about all the veterans that have fought and died for our supposed freedoms and how we're pissing on their graves right now, and I'm tired of it. I'm signing off, ladies and gentlemen. I'm done breaking it down. I've done the best job I can. And it's up to you if you want to be slaves or not. They're going to take all of our freedoms for a reason. They're gutting us to make us poor to politically control us. It's called Clower and Piven. And it's real. And going along with this is the surest way to be slaves. So get this report out to everybody where the facts are there. And Paul Watson's report as well that details all of this. The anatomy of the American coup. How this country got taken over and the facts, and hopefully the American spirit, the sleeping giant, can be awakened to outrage to break the trance and say no to the slow motion Red Dawn takeover. All right, that's it for this special transmission. I'm gonna throw this back to David Knight and the Infowars.com studios after this short break, and the rest is up to you, my friends. Used since before the days of the Roman Empire to support the body's natural systems and enhance overall health. Introducing the new InfoWarsLife.com, oil of oregano formulation, a highly advanced nutraceutical form of this key herb that has been traditionally used by civilizations for thousands of years to promote health. We have now procured the most high quality and potent forms of oregano oil on the market, sourced from top leading manufacturers to ensure a concentrated level of bioactive ingredients extracted directly from the wild herb and sealed in easy to use capsules you will no longer need to endure the burning of liquid oregano on the tongue wild crafted from the mediterranean oregano species that experts agree is one of the most powerful and most challenging to acquire this winter season it's more important than ever to secure this true form of oil of oregano now available in our limited first run at infowarslife.com that's infowarslife.com or call 888-253-3139 Another major health threat, this one in Toledo, Ohio, where everybody in the entire city has been told not to drink the water. Ohio's governor declaring a state of emergency. Did you know that the average person uses about 80 to 100 gallons of water at home every single day? If there's a water emergency, will you be prepared? Panicked residents forming long lines throughout the day. We're here at a supermarket in Toledo. You can see the shelves empty where water once was. To stay safe and healthy during a crisis, you must must have access to safe, clean water. Water which will not be available at your local grocery store. There's a mad dash on right now to stock up on supplies. The ProPure Pro 1 G2.0 water filtration system is a must have for every modern, independently minded household. Protect your family's safety during an emergency. Go to InfoWarsStore.com today to purchase your ProPure Pro 1 G2.0 water filtration system or call 1-88-253-3139.
This is the CBS Evening News with Walter Cronkite. Good evening. The parents of kidnapped Patricia Hearst today heard directly from their daughter for the first time since her abduction. As a member of the notorious Symbionese Liberation Army, Sarah Jane Olson, formerly Kathleen Ann Celaya, was partly responsible for the death of Myrna Opsel, the 42-year-old mother of four children who was in the bank to deposit receipts from her church during a bank robbery near Sacramento, California on April 21st, 1975. Patty Hearst, who was acting as the getaway driver, gave information that led the police to implicate the SLA in the robbery and murder. Hearst also stated that Celia was one of the actual robbers. And according to Patty Hearst, Celia also kicked a pregnant teller in the abdomen, leading to a miscarriage. On August 21st, 1975, the LAPD discovered several bombs attached to the bottom of their cars. Celia was accused of planting the bombs in an attempt to avenge the SLA members who had died a year earlier in a standoff with the LAPD. In February 1976, a grand jury indicted Celia in the bombing case. Celia disappeared and became a fugitive for 23 years. In 1999, Celia was profiled on the America's Most Wanted television program. After a tip came in, she was arrested on June 16, 1999. Celia was then charged with conspiracy to commit murder, possession of explosives, and attempting to ignite explosives with intent to murder. Shortly after her arrest, Celia legally changed her name to her alias, Sarah Jane Olson. After serving seven years, about half of her sentence, Olson was released from prison on March 17, 2009. This legendary domestic terrorist was allowed to go through the TSA's ultra-secure expedited pre-check system. A TSA supervisor failed to reject the quintessential example of a domestic terrorist as defined by the highest standards of the Department of Homeland Security. Uh, we talked about this whistleblower who said uh, they saw uh, and knew someone uh, in line uh, that was a domestic terrorist, had a conviction, went to jail. Back in 2008, I believe, we started training our TSOs in critical thinking skills. According to our investigation, the supervisor ordered that person to uh, go through the pre-check lane. So basically, we let a domestic terrorist uh, get on a plane. Olson never applied for a pre-check and would have been ineligible had she done so. So how did she get pre-check status without applying. Listen to this pre-check traveler. It just, it just showed up on your ticket. Yeah, it just showed up on my ticket. With a budget of $7.39 billion and an average failure rate of 70%, not only are the TSA stealing from passengers, declaring four-year-olds high security threats, and declaring themselves God. A TSA agent was arrested on January 3rd here at Terminal 1 at LAX. He'd just gotten off duty and was behaving erratically, saying, I am God, I'm in charge. But they can't even stop a legendary domestic terrorist from getting preferential treatment. It's blatantly obvious. The TSA has nothing to do with protecting travelers from terrorists. The majority of TSA agents have no clue that they are really just pawns in a giant security theater psyop. The National Consortium for the Study of Terrorism and Responses to Terrorism, a University of Maryland project funded by the Department of Homeland Security, has designated the so-called sovereign citizen movement as the number one domestic terrorist threat in America. The report takes its definitions from a 2011 study entitled Profiles of Perpetrators of Terrorism, in which the following characteristics are used to identify terrorists. Americans who believe their way of life is under attack. Americans who are fiercely nationalistic as opposed to universal and international in orientation. People who consider themselves anti-global, presumably those who are wary of the loss of American sovereignty. Americans who are suspicious of centralized federal authority. Americans who are reverent of individual liberty. People who believe in conspiracy theories that involve grave threat to national sovereignty and or personal